girl gang welcome back to the channel i hope this video finds you really really well so today we have another request she says can you please do a video on career paths and being unhappy with your job i think my job is the number one cause of my unhappiness in life right now and is prohibiting me from finding my true self i'd love to hear your take on this your videos help me so much thank you my love sorry you know me and coffee I'm an advocate for not staying in something that no longer serves you or makes you happy. So I'm not gonna be the one to say quit your job, okay? I'm not gonna be the one. But I am going to say life is short. You deserve to be happy and fulfilled and walking in your purpose. And I believe that if you're asking me for my advice, you should be figuring out how to make that happen for yourself. Taking those steps whether it's, you know, maybe you need to take some classes or some courses, maybe you need to find a different job, something part-time. I don't know, you have to figure out what, what works best for you. I don't know if you've seen my video before. I It was called, I think, I Took a Leap of Faith or something like that, I'll leave it in the cards. But it was just talking about how I quit my job. And so I thought, let's, let's do an update to this video. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna get more in depth in a second, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know when was the last time you've taken a leap of faith on something. One thing that I've realized is that when you don't feel qualified, God qualifies you. And I don't mean to get all spiritual and whatnot, God, the universe, spirit, whatever. There have been so many times where I have not felt qualified, okay? I taught English as a second language. I was a crisis counselor at a mental health hotline. They're starting this YouTube channel. <laughs> there have been so many times where I have not felt qualified, but I took a leap of faith. I stepped out in faith and I realized that I was always prepared because not only does God qualify you, but opportunity favors the prepared. I think a lot of the time, fear holds us back from doing a lot of things. And a lot of things that we know are our purpose or we know we should be doing or we just know. <laughs> a lot of the time we know in our spirit, like I need to leave this job or I know I should be doing this or I know I should be doing that. But fear holds us back. Scarcity holds us back. That's a whole nother topic for another day. I always have to remind myself, God qualifies you. You can do whatever it is you want in this world, literally. That brings comfort to me, knowing that. And I also believe that I have favor. And I have favor because I know I have favor. Because I know that God loves me. And God loves you too. If we have favor and we know that God loves us, Sometimes we just have to take that leap of faith. Sometimes we just have to get out of our comfort zone because nothing's gonna grow there. I haven't read this book, but my mom always talks about this book called Do It Afraid. Although I haven't read it, I love that phrase because a lot of the time we just have to do things afraid. If we wait until we're ready, quote unquote, we'll be waiting a long time, if not forever. We can only be so prepared, we can only do so much. Sometimes we just have to do it afraid. Sometimes we just have to step out in faith. Sometimes we just have to be like, God, universe, spirit, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I know I need to be doing this. And then we might fumble, get back up, learn some things, get back up. That's just the journey of life. It's not gonna be smooth sailing no matter what. And so we can't wait till things are perfect or the right timing or perfect timing or whatever the case is. Sometimes we just have to ask God, ask spirit. And once we get that answer or confirmation or whatever the case is, however you, you know, however your relationship is, then we just go for it. So I'm reading Ask and It Is Given. And one of the quotes said, the reason you have not already gotten what you desire is because you are holding yourself in a vibrational hold pattern that does not match the vibration of your desire. That's the only reason ever. Talks about how we can have whatever it is we want in this life, but we continue to perpetuate this vibration that is down here 
because that's what we're used to. That's the pattern that we're used to when what it is that we want is vibrating up here, right? So we have to reprogram our mind, get out of that lack and scarcity mindset and choose to vibrate higher so that we can match what it is that we are desiring, right? And so if you are stuck in a job, stuck in a relationship, stuck in whatever it is that's lower vibrational, there's no way you can attract higher vibrational things. And if you do, you'll lose it or it'll come to you in a bad way or whatever the case is. You can't just up and quit your job or do all of these things and not change your patterns. You can't continue to do things the same way and expect different results. If you're gonna quit your job, if you're gonna do something different and radical, you have to change yourself and your mindset and you have to choose to act as your higher self, act in this higher vibration every single day as often as you can because the more you do that, the more you will attract those things and opportunities. Your focus is the invitation. Your attention is the invitation. That's one of my favorite quotes of the book, so simple. Your focus is the invitation. We attract things all day, every day, right? So whatever it is you're focusing on, good or bad, that is the invitation. That is what you are inviting into your life. And so you have to make that choice. Are you gonna be focused on the fact that you hate your job and life sucks and all of these different things? There's no way you can attract higher vibrating things, right? Whatever you focus on, that is what's going to grow. That is what's going to be attracted into your life. I might not have it all together, and I know that, and I still ask spirit to just use me and to just work through me, and I just wanna be a vessel. And so when you are doing things from a pure place, a place of just pure intention, I think you'll always win. I think you'll always be successful. And I think that's something that we don't talk about enough. I feel so happy. And I feel like I've, I've reached a level of success that I never have before. Not because I surpassed 10,000 followers, not because I make more money, because I don't. <laughs> I've made more money in the past. But because I've reached a level of joy that I never have before. And, and that's a level of success that I think not a lot of people talk about. In my opinion, when you ask me about working in jobs and all of these different things, it's not about the money. That's not what equals success in my mind. How happy are you? Do you wake up joyful for just no reason, <laughs> just because you woke up? Think about all the things you're grateful for because you're genuinely grateful for them. Do you have a heart of giving and loving? I think that's the goal. I think the goal is to be so rich in love and so successful in that, in joy and in love. I just went on a whole tangent, <laughs> a whole rant, but I hope it helped you. Let me know if you want me to talk about any of these topics more in depth. Maybe we can talk about manifestation more. I know I don't talk about that a lot on my channel. I mean, I'm still trying to figure it out. You guys already know, like, you're growing with me. You're not here because I have all the answers because if you're here because you think I have all the answers, you might as well unsubscribe <laughs> because I don't. So yeah, we're just growing together. But I love you and I thank you for being here and I will see you in the next one. Take care and God bless.